Hey there, my name is Chad Anderson and I play drums in the Christian metal band From These Ruins. Our sound is uh, it's rooted in metal, in metalcore. We, uh, we pull from lots of different influences. Um, you know, everybody in the band's kind of got different paths to get to this point in, uh, in our lives and our careers and, and grew up listening to different things. Um, so we pull from a lot of different things from blues and jazz to classic rock and then obviously the foundation of what we do is uh, in metal and metalcore. We're 100% DIY. Uh, we are independent musicians and uh, everything that you see from every post on social media to all of our websites comes 100% from us. We don't have a marketing team or anything like that aside, aside from us, so it's 100% uh, DIY. Um, some of my personal influences would be, man, that ranges from lots of different things. One of my biggest influences would be Morgan Rose, the drummer of Seven Dust. Uh, he was huge uh, for me when I was a, a little young drummer coming up. Uh, he had a big impression on me, but anybody, you know, Tony Royster Jr. from Luke Holland and, uh, you know, so Gabe Helguera from My Prevail, and there's a, there's a lot of great talented drummers out there, and uh, I just I just love good musicians and good musicianship and uh, drummers that that just that get it done and kick some butt while doing it, you know. Um, most of us also wear many different hats in the band. Uh, I, for one, handle a lot of the back end stuff. I, I manage the band. I handle the finances. Any of the websites that you see from us, it uh, that I, I manage all of that, and I uh, I typically take care of the content from our e-commerce store to uh, from these ruins .com, our website, um, and a lot of that stuff in between. I get a lot of help from like Tim and Rusty; they take on a good chunk of things for me as well. But uh, as far as the the grand overseer of everything, I kind of manage everything and. Uh, and we all work as a team, which is really, really cool. Uh, why do you wear shorts? Why do I wear shorts? So that's a so when I was a young drummer coming up, learning how to play double bass, you kind of um, as you're learning something new, especially you know like double bass or something like that, you over exaggerate your motions. And when I was learning double bass, whenever I wore pants, I felt a lot of what I consider restriction like around my knees. It was really tight, so I didn't feel like I had really good range with my legs when I was wearing pants. So I started, uh, started just wearing shorts, and <clears throat> that gave me that freedom that I felt around my knees and my joints and things like that. So it's just kind of one of those things from seven years old until now, 90% of the time, uh, I just play drums in shorts. A little fun fact for you too, I also play drums without shoes on as well. Uh, for a very similar reason, I really like feeling the pedals and uh, that was something when I was a kid, you know, I couldn't really wear shoes in my house. Uh, so I just got used to practicing uh, without shoes on and it's just one of those things I've kind of adopted through um, into uh, my professional career. So shorts and no shoes is typically uh, my attire when I'm playing drums. Most of us do have a pre-show warm-up. Um, I myself, I will take uh, a good 10-15 minutes and I'll stretch it out, get all my limbs and my hands all warmed up and things like that. I'll usually uh, hit a drum pad, get some rudiments going and and just, you know, get loose and then uh, what I like to do, I kind of like to find a quiet spot for five or ten minutes or man, maybe I can only get a couple minutes some shows, it just really depends. But I just kind of I kind of self-meditate, just kind of uh, just kind of focus myself, get centered a little bit. I like that quiet time and just uh, get prefer prepared to get out there and uh, get it done. best advice I was ever given. All right, 
When I was a, <clears throat> a young drummer coming up, uh, I was, you know, like most people do probably, I think, maybe not, I don't know, but I was taking drum lessons. And uh, my drum instructor at the time, um, talented, talented guy, smart guy as well, but I, I asked him, I was like, you know, if I want to make a career playing drums, what, uh, what kind of things do I need to know? And he told me, he's like, well, what you need to know is that it's called the music business. So you need to know just as much about business as you do about music. And I was probably nine years old when he told me that. And that is something that stuck with me uh, st even to this day. Uh, I, uh, I work just as hard on you know my business acumen as I do my music. I went to college and got a master's in music and I also got a bachelor's in marketing and advertising. Um, so I knew that there were two sides to the coin if I wanted to, you know, legitimately, legitimately try and, uh, and make playing drums a profession and a career for me. So I would say for me, that was probably some of the best advice that I've ever gotten along with, uh, you know, practice, practice, practice. That's, that's what it takes. If you want to be good at something and you want to pursue it, you got to work your tail off, man. So, uh, so I'd say those are probably the two best pieces of advice I've ever gotten. Best song we've ever released to this point. Um, man, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, I like all of our songs, um, but the one that. I've gotten the most feedback from from people who have listened to it, fans, friends, you know, people at shows and things like that. Um, would probably be Slave to Nothing. Um, it is a lot of fun to play live. Um, the lyrics are amazing. Rusty is phenomenal at writing lyrics, and um, you know, the melody in the chorus and, and the groove of the song. It's um, it's one of my favorites. Um, like I said, I, I like. A lot of them, I like all of them, but uh, there's a few that I really enjoy playing live. But I would say out of all of them, uh, Slave to Nothing, for me, would be probably one of our top songs to date. As a musician, you're always learning and always growing. I don't think there's any possible way, no matter what instrument that you play, that you'll ever know it all. I can play some jazz and blues and I can play metal and rock and pop and all that, but you know, I'm not a master of jazz and blues, you know, uh, or anything like that. There's always room to grow in your instrument one area or another, in my opinion. Again, there are some really talented people out there um, who are probably pretty close uh, to being complete masters of, of their instrument. But, you know, if, you know, my father used to say growing up, you learn something new every day. And I've taken that to heart. I, I try and learn and be better every single day, um, just as a person and as a drummer. Um, you know, I, I, I'm smart enough to know that I don't know everything. Uh, so I, I work really hard just to be the best, the best drummer that I can be. Oh man, tour with any band. That is a tough one because I love so many bands. Um, for me, a dream come true would be, I would have to say Seven Dust. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan, has, have been for 20 years now. Um, you know, before anybody knew who Seven Dust was, I was a fan. So that would be kind of a personal dream come true for me. But I love so many bands, and there are so many great metal and metalcore bands out there that I would think it'd be super cool to get on the road with, um, from, you know, Wage War, Fit for a King, uh, you know, the, and we've played with so many great bands already, um, you know, so, you know, we've made a lot of friends in bands, and it'd be really cool to get, you know, three or four of these bands that we're really good friends with just to all go out on a road trip for a couple of months together and just, uh, just throw down, have a good time, uh, you know, speak some ministry out there with some heavy music, and, uh, and I think it'd be really, really cool. I would 
I'd say one of my favorites to play live would probably be um, Losing Control. I think uh, Losing Control is one of those. It was one of our first singles off of Advocate, and it is, um, it's a great tune, man. And uh, it's a whole lot of fun to play live. Um, I get to, you know, scream some things in the microphone as I'm as I'm hammering down back there behind the kit, you know. So it's one of those songs I can just really just kind of go off back there and just uh, just really enjoy myself. So I'd say um, losing by a, a small margin is probably one of my favorites to play live. I would say probably one of the toughest uh, times for me would be in the fall and winter of 2016. Um, we released Advocate in uh, September and, um, and uh, shortly thereafter my mom had been battling liver disease for over a year at that point but uh, right after we released Advocate she kind of took a pretty bad turn for, her wor for the worst. And uh, she actually passed away on Christmas Day uh, in 2016. And that was a really hard time for me personally. And it was just one of those, you know, situations that you're just, you know, you kind of reevaluate things and you kind of just kind of take stock of everything. And, um, so that was, I, I really had to, you know, kind of pick myself up by the bootstraps um, to make it through that time in my life. And the main reason I got through it was because of the other guys in the band. Uh, they are family, they are my brothers, and they, they stuck with me. Obviously we had to take, you know, I had to take some time off just for, for grieving and, and things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I know my mom would have wanted me to, to keep pushing and keep going. And, uh, but my, my brothers and from these ruins um, really, really, you know, came to my side and helped me get through that and were nothing but supportive and understanding. And just, you know, I knew that they had my back and that they were there for me, anything that I needed, and uh, really helped kind of you know get me get me out of that dark place that I was in in my life you know and uh, that's why you know we are so we're so um, you know we talk about we have a group called the Brotherhood and we talk about it all the time this is a place for, for people to come and and uh, and share their stories good bad or the in-between and there's no judgment there and that's what from these ruins is all about that was from the very first single from our first album EP a thousand years ago, Brotherhood, uh, that's what it was, you know. Um, I've got you and you've got me. And that has been the mantra for From These Ruins from the very beginning. Um, judgment free and and filled with love and acceptance. Your support and, and your love means so much to us. And I know everybody says that, but it's it's really true. We we feel that. And as I you know talked about earlier, everything that you see comes 100% from us. So all of the replies on our socials that you see, it's all from us. We see you, we hear you, we feel you, um, and we know the love and support that you guys give us. And that's uh, that that just means so much to us. From you know five guys in the Midwest who like to play Christian heavy music, you know, uh, who would who would have thunk it, you know, and um, that that would be my biggest thing is just a big, huge, heartfelt thank you. Um, we love and cherish you guys so much and we do it for you guys. We do it so, you know, hopefully we can inspire you and, and and uh, help get you guys through. If you're going through some rough times, maybe one of our songs is gonna help you get through that. I know our music has helped me get through some stuff, um, you know, and uh, that is probably the biggest 
thing that I would like to say to uh, those of you guys watching this right now is is thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, we really, really appreciate it, all the love and support.